Useful tools are gravity and move with collision. For example, you have an object, you have to select them with holding your control and select all of them. Move them a little bit up. And then for better understanding the gravity, you can activate gravity and rotate them and they fall down and place anywhere that you want. For better selection, you can double click <clears throat> the object and select. As you can see, they are on inside of each other. Make them a little higher and rotate. Then holding control and select all of them. For <clears throat> multi-selection, you can hold in your control. Then simply use a uh, gravity tool they fall down and you can nicely see the object of falling down there are simple objects the object that you want to affect by gravity you have to select them other object does not uh, use gravity don't worry about the if you turn the gravity just the selected object uh, affected by gravity <clears throat> and that's very easy you can use it another um, be careful about the uh, bounding box of the collision if you have very complex object uh, because it's creating a bounding box around the object maybe it does not uh, create a good collision with other object uh, let's try some object to better understanding let's lamp mm -hmm. because if you have a more complex object we have we need more resources to calculate be careful about that <clears throat> I don't know which object the best example to understanding the bounding box is this scene for example we have a box that is about this gap you can see above this gap if you turn the collision on you can see it drop at this border <clears throat> because this is an uh, this is a multi object and it does not create these holes and it just create a bounding box be careful about that it just fall down here it does not go uh, exactly in this part because in the multi objects we have a bounding box a box around the multi object and calculate the uh, collision just at the border of that box and it does not fall in this gap be careful about these collisions <clears throat> another interesting tool that we can use is uh, move by collision for example if you move this object in a regular way it's moving something like that but if you want to move with collision it's collide with other object select the objects and move with that and then move the object you can see It's collide with other objects. For example, this moving with collision. Rotation not. Uh, as you can see, the transform and the other tools will change the graphic. And here you can move it. It's moving and it does not pass through other objects. For example, to better understanding that, let's try this. And as you can see, we have a collision. We, we have collide with other objects. Nice. You can uh, create your scene with something like this. It's nice. It's very easy. So turn it on and all the collision and scene are uh, turned on and you can rotate. You can also rotate all of the objects. For example, you can make them up. 
I'll select all of the object and you can move them together and uh, it's creating something like this nice or you can rotate them together you can see I turn it off for some nice and then collision you can manually uh, bring them up or down uh, together or um, gather them together with a scale tool the scale rotation and the transform tool uh, change its their behavior when you choose the collision tool and you can of course uh, turn on the gravity so it just moved the object based on the uh, collide with other object and you can manage your scene with more natural way okay when you turn it off you can see we have regular transform rotate and scale tool scale tool now you can see scaling the objects when you turn the collision on the scaling tool uh, actually gather or moving the object forward or inward to each other another interesting two thing about the collision is this if you select this object and bring it inside of that turn the collision off you can see it's it's going inside that object sorry for that inciting object if you uh turn the collision or gravity they are explode they are creating the bounding box and they are moving uh, in a surface of each other okay again if you have the object that turn off the gravity if you have an object that they are inside of each other if you want to um, manage them exactly at the side of each other surface of each other you can turn on gravity as you can see it's automatically manage it itself based on the other surface and the collision it is another usage of the gravity if you have objects that are inside of each other you can take them apart easily with this tool 